William Harris never met Mose and Garrison Siskin. Neither did his mom or dad. But their lives are forever changed because of the brothers' commitment to children with special needs and their families. The Siskin legacy began more than 60 years ago when Garrison Siskin seriously injured his leg and made a promise to God that if he recovered, he would devote his life to others in need. He did recover, and his brother Mose joined him in his commitment to make life better for others less fortunate. Together, they've changed the lives of thousands, and their legacy lives on today. The brothers, children of immigrants from Lithuania, were well known in Chattanooga for their family business, Siskin Steel and Supply Company. But they were even better known for their charitable work and dedication to helping others, regardless of race, religion, and ability. For the first few years, the brothers operated their charity out of a fund kept in a cigar box at Siskin Steel. But it soon blossomed into a variety of programs for children and adults in need. By 1950, the Siskin Memorial Foundation was official. The establishment of the foundation in honor of Mose and Garrison's parents launched the brothers' charity into a new league. Soon, two buildings were purchased, a chapel for community use opened, and rent-free space was provided to other nonprofits in the area. The space also allowed the brothers to launch Operation Crossroads, a rehabilitation facility for children and adults, and an education program for young children with disabilities. The brothers were ready to ask the community to join them in their efforts to help others. They established the 365 Club, asking people to donate a penny a day or more to the cause. The community responded and provided generous support to the 365 Club, and many celebrities helped champion the Siskin cause. In the late 70s, both Siskin brothers passed away, but they continued to have an impact on the community. In 1990, Operation Crossroads became Siskin Hospital for Physical Rehabilitation, a comprehensive rehabilitation facility helping children and adults. In 2000, the education program for children with special needs was named Siskin Children's Institute and moved from inside the hospital to its own location on Carter Street in downtown Chattanooga. From its simple roots as a small preschool, Siskin Children's Institute has expanded to include education, outreach, health care and research for children and their families. Today at the Institute, children with and without special needs learn and play side by side. Parents are offered resources and support to face life's challenges. Professionals benefit from research identifying best practices in early childhood development. And families get the medical answers they need. But most importantly, it's a place where families like the Harrises find answers, support, and hope. The one thing that I never got to do until he started Siskin was get to truly enjoy being his mom. I no longer had to be his doctor, his nurse, his therapist, his teacher, to be able to let go of that burden for just a little bit, to be able to appreciate your child for who they are and just to get to enjoy the day ins and day outs of their life. Knowing that you've got a support staff that is looking out for your child's best interest so that you can just sit back and truly enjoy the little moments in your child's life. That has been the biggest blessing to us. Although the Siskin brothers aren't here to see the changes in William's life, his mother hasn't forgotten the two men who had the vision to make life better for children they would never know. When I get to heaven, one of the first things I want to do is find the Siskin brothers. I want to run up and hug their necks and say, you have no idea what you've done. You have blessed generations and generations, and you have made my family's life so much better for what you've done. Thank you, thank you. And I will never let him forget his time here at Siskin. I'm gonna tell him that there was a special place where he went when he was very little. And it was the heart of two men a long time ago who had a love for children that allowed him to be given a step up. The Siskin legacy began with two men of steel with hearts of gold who wanted to make life better for children with special needs but it takes the help of others to keep that legacy alive.